Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Andrew or Skeckles, whatever you prefer to call me. But today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be answering probably my number one question on YouTube. And this question is, what kind of camera do you have? I cannot tell you guys how many times I've gotten this question. So today I thought I would make a video not only just about what kind of camera I use to shoot my videos, but also about all the gear. There's actually a bunch of gear that I use to make these videos, so I thought I'd make one video explaining all the gear before we get into it. If you guys could just slap that thumbs up button, it really means a lot. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's just start off with the thing that I carry with me pretty much every time I vlog, which is my camera bag. I actually love this bag. This is an Amazon Basics bag. Really, I have no problems with it. There's two compartments in the front, and then if you open up the main compartment, you have these little, like, I guess you could call them cubicles, and that's where you put your camera and your lenses and your gear and whatever you need to put in there. It's light, it's compact, and I think it goes for about $30 on Amazon, which is actually a pretty good price. So there's nothing really in the first compartment, but if we move into the second, first thing I have is these white balance cards. Photographers used these to make sure that the white balance is correct and you should just shoot on auto so I've never really used these. The next thing we have is something I actually got pretty recently which is Rycote Micro Wind Jammers. And these are essentially mini dead cats for your camera. Some of you guys might know this but I broke my microphone jack. So I do have a microphone but I can't actually plug into my camera. The onboard mic on this camera does terrible in wind. It's like awful. If there's even a slight amount of wind it just ruins the entire audio. So I got these Rycote Micro Wind Jammers and you just stick them over the mic and it gets rid of like 90% of the wind. You can also use these on iPhones, so if you film on iPhones, they're helpful for those. It costs like $20 dollars in B&H, which would be kind of expensive, except that you get like 20 of them. The only thing I don't like about these is if you have them on the camera I have, you actually can't use the flash while they're on because it covers the flash. But I don't use this camera that much for photography anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. This is a Movo time-lapse turner, and I got this a couple months ago, and I really like it. I think this also was about 30 bucks on Amazon. Essentially what this is, is you wind it up to 15, 30, 45, or an hour, and then you mount either your camera or your phone onto it and then you take a time lapse and as your time lapse is going it slowly evenly turns until it runs out of time and it goes so you can get really cool, even turning time lapses with it. But I like it, it works well, it does exactly what it says it does. The next piece of gear we'll look at is this mini bendy tripod that I have. This is awesome, it is super tight and flexible and you can bend it every single way imaginable. The other thing I really like about this is it has a quick release plate that you can put onto your phone or your camera. So you can quickly mount your phone or camera to the tripod really easily and then also take it off really easily. So I really like it. It also has a ball mount on the top so you can turn the top. Joby Gorilla Pods, in my opinion, are way overpriced and this guy was only 20 bucks, so that's another plus. And this is an XS x -series. The next thing I have in my backpack is pretty lame. This is where I keep all the supplies to clean my lens and my camera with. That's pretty self-explanatory. There's not much to show here. And then we have the Canon strap that my camera came with. The next piece of gear I have, this is the Rode Mic Go. And I don't care, it's my backpack because like I said earlier, I broke my microphone jack on my camera so I can't actually use this anymore. But I thought I'd just mention it since it is another piece of gear that I have. From the experience I did have with it, I do like this mic. The nice thing about it is all you have to do to use it is just plug it directly into your camera. You don't have to turn these switches on or there's no batteries in it, it's just straight plug into your camera and start recording. And then before we get into the camera and the lenses, let's just look up here. In this compartment I have a little folder, I guess you could call it, where I store all of my SD cards. All together I have three 32 gigabyte SD cards and they all work pretty well. I think I'm going to get a 64 gigabyte one also soon because generally I fill up more than 32 gigabytes when I'm filming one vlog. And then also in this compartment I have two extra batteries, which once again I actually kind of need to get more because I can't stand it when I have to stop filming because my battery dies or I run out of room on my SD card. The next thing that I have in my backpack is the kit lens that came with my camera. This lens is a Canon EFS 18 to 55 millimeter. Like I said, this is the lens that came with the camera. It's not a terrible lens as far as kit lenses go. I used this for a long time until recently I, I got my new lens. Yeah, I like this guy. He's a pretty good lens. The only thing is, since it isn't like a wide angle, it's hard to vlog with, so you have to stick your arm way out and like put the tripod way out to get like your whole face, and even then, it only gets so much in the frame. Whenever I film with this lens, I would never, ever turn on autofocus because it makes this loud clicking sound and you can hear it vividly. I use this lens up to like 25,000 subscribers, so it's a pretty good lens. And now the main question you guys probably want to know is what kind of camera do I have? So the camera I use is the Canon EOS Rebel T4i and this is the first DSLR I ever bought and I love it. I actually got this camera off of eBay for about $400 and like I said it came with this 18 to 55 millimeter lens and I think I've been using this camera since I had about a thousand subscribers, so probably over a year now. Flashback to when I first got this camera. But what's going on guys? I am your friendly neighborhood Skeckles. You guys probably already noticed from either the title or the quality, but I got a new camera! Yeah! 
it's honestly a great camera. There's not, like, I really haven't had any problems with it. I believe it is only called the T4i in the US and then other countries they call it the 650D. If you guys want to know any more, I'll link the specs to it in the description down below. If you guys want to make like pretty high quality videos, I would definitely start off with the Canon T4i. And then the lens I'm currently using is the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. I bought this lens because you really need a wide angle for filming skateboarding and then a wide angle is also very helpful for when you're vlogging. You can hold the camera about this close to your face and you get the entire shot. And then another great feature about this is the autofocus. The autofocus has been on this entire video and I doubt any of you guys have actually heard it. This lens is decently cheap as far as lenses go. This is about $300 but I personally got it refurbished from Canon for $250. The next piece of gear which is pretty much essential to any YouTuber is a tripod. But mine is sadly broken. I actually just broke this in the last video I filmed. But I'm still gonna do a slight review of it because I actually really really like this tripod I've actually had two of these tripods now They were both from Ravelli and they're pretty much the exact same tripod But I've used this one frequently for about five months and it only just now broke which is pretty good I personally use this to vlog with I know a lot of youtubers use Joby gorilla pods because Casey and I stack kind of started that trend But personally I need a tripod with extendable legs because I often film alone And I need something to hold my camera up high and the best part about it is it is under $20 on Amazon The next piece of gear that I've actually been using this entire video whether you realize it or or not is a ring light. This is a newer with two E's brand ring light and I love this ring light. It is exactly what I need but I think this ring light goes for about $135 on Amazon. If you guys are looking for good lighting that you can use any time of the day this is definitely what you're going to want to get. I love this thing. I literally just leave it out plugged into the wall and ready to go so that whenever I need to get lighting quickly I can just turn it right on and it gives you like these cool like light rings in your eyes, which is kind of a plus. And then the next and final piece of gear we're going to be looking at is my stabilizer. This is a weighted gimbal that I got off of eBay for about $50. I'm not sure of the brand, but if you just look up like 3-axis gimbal on eBay, I'm sure something like this will come up. The only real problem I have with it is it is a pain to set up. This is a weighted gimbal, so it's not automatic in any way, so it takes time to balance the camera properly. But when you do it and you take the time to properly balance it, you can get some really cool shots. And yeah, just a really cool thing to mess around and really just up the quality of your YouTube videos. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be it for today's video. I covered pretty much all the gear I used to make my videos. I guess the only other thing you could really include in this is what editing software I use. The editing software I use is Final Cut Pro X. So I hope this answered all the questions you guys have about how I shoot my videos and what kind of gear I use. If you guys would like to see more tech related videos, leave me a comment down below. If we could smash 500 likes on this video, that would be incredible. As usual, if you guys took something away from this video, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And also make sure you turn on post notifications because YouTube recently changed an algorithm and now it's all kind of weird and you might not get notified when I post a video so be sure just to hit that post notifications button to make sure you guys get notified when I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Peace.